You can tell we the most inexperienced hikers in the world. No f hiking bag, <laughs> bad shoes on. I'm about to <laughs> twist my ankle again. <laughs> suicide, suicide something. <laughs> suicide point, nigga, I'm sleeping. Suicide rock, I think. <laughs> suicide rock, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up when we catch up. Poison Ivy already? It's over with. It's over with. Out here, there's vulnerability. There's peace, there's wildlife, even danger. And then, there's us. The true version of ourselves can't even be seen in a mirror. You find yourself in nature. The purest form of a person is exposed when they're away from recognition. This is how we escape to life. <laughs> I should know. That was kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right, man. Let's catch up. How you? How you? Uh, how you been since being back from up north? North, north. Uh, it's been feeling good, you know. Um, I mean, it's fun being on PTO and seeing family and. Sh I didn't really want to move to San Francisco. It really wasn't like. A, I, it felt more like a mandatory thing, you mm -hmm. know, having to get money, trying to get the job. Yeah. I knew there was shit up there because, you know, all that tech, sh uh, tech bullshit. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, it's pretty fun. It's a, not that big of a demographic, just a bunch of nerds and <laughs> homeless people. But uh, where, you, where you fit in in that category? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd rather be a geek or a homeless person. I but think you know. I, I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think you know. <laughs> <laughs> These them niggas get money, you know. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool being out here right now, especially, fuck, I like hiking and stuff. Um, yeah. So this beef jerky falling away. Beef jerky giving up. But, uh, yeah. What yeah. about you being I've been, here? I've been chilling since I've been back. I got, what, like a week ago now? Bobby Smurda. About a week ago, I got back from Atlanta, just doing my thing with football and meeting new people. I actually made a whole bunch of connections outside of football that I, that I didn't think I was going to, you know, run into. Some people from, like, NBC and people, like, uh, casting directors and stuff, like, movies, shows, all that stuff. It's like, that FCF league was, like, a threshold for, like, creatives. Creatives and athletes, obviously, but, yeah. you know, while I was there, I made my due time and... Got the most out of it. Still got people hitting me up for like photo shoots when I'm out here. I'm like, yeah, I can't, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> unless you go fly me out, I can't. Get flewed out for Get photo flewed shoot. out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty tight. I mean, it seems like it's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of creative heads and like yeah. you get a lot of leeway as well as playing the sport that you love nice. like that. So how was like the whole experience for you? The experience like playing football was like an arcade for real like you watch it on twitch or something it's like you know they got power ups they got you know taking guys out the field for a, I don't know, it's just I like, like the lights in there like it, it, it all yeah. looked like tight like lit that yeah, was, was like a concert right? mm -hmm. like in person it's like the fans are calling the plays but it's like you got to execute it so it's like you're working together with the fans for the first time in like sports history so mm -hmm. i ain't never heard of nothing like that and they talk about basketball now they're trying to do like Fan control basketball, I think, or fan control hoops, whatever they call it. Yeah. But no, at first, I was skeptical of that. The league, you know, right? Like, sound like some <laughs> slave owners <laughs> playing like some playing chess with niggas, you know? Exactly. This is what y'all gonna do? But it looked fun when I when I was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what y'all gonna do? <laughs> it looked pretty fun when I was watching it. It's, it's a cool concept. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Once once I saw it live and get done and shit like that, it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, the pre part of it was just like, how is this going to work? Like, we're just going to get run the slant, you know, in my headphones. It's like, no, nah, he's just playing football. Yeah. Like, once I got there, first snap, I was like, oh, I can actually be an athlete still. Yeah. You, know? you were scoring too. Like, man, you was top. They had your <laughs> banner on the right. stadium. Next to Quavo. I'm yeah. like, whoa. I, I ain't, like you said, like the Hollywood experience of being that Hollywood character, it was like, something I embody but nothing I, nothing I just like stayed I wasn't off the field like Hollywood I was just yeah you know that's just my name that's what I do on the field you gotta yeah, have but, some sort of, sort of a persona when you're in there exactly. get some fan fandom exactly that's good publicity <laughs> true yeah but aside from 
the city in general, where we at right now, how is how do you how you feel about nature in general? Like what what is it? What's the reason we think we're breathtaking from? Man, nature? I just I just feel like it's natural for us to be in these types of environments. You know, like when we went to Portland together, seeing all those trees and doing the trails and stuff. Yeah. And as soon as we went into the city and how like still green it was in, in, mm -hmm. in like downtown area, we was like, we got to live here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we said, yeah. like, we got to move up. We looking at apartments and stuff. Yeah. So it was like, I think we need to be like this. I mean, you know, Southern California, there's only like small divots of places like this where we can actually experience stuff like this. Like here, Big right. Bear or uh, some other dumbass mountains. But uh, <laughs> Like, I mean, it's up there. It's like in uh, Northern California where I'm at, too. Like, there's a bunch of this shit. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like hiking. I ain't about to join no hi hiking club, no, though. No, 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 no. They be doing Facebook too much. Facebook club. Yeah. <laughs> Meetups? Nah. Can't do all that. They be doing too much. It was quiet just a second ago, but these... It's like the only thing that makes noise up here is wind and the trees. Like, literally. And I, I think that's what's most peaceful about nature. Yeah. Like, you are listening to nature as you're walking through it. And you can't... I mean, you can't talk back, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can just absorb it and feel it. Absorb it. Yeah, just absorb. Taking, it, taking it in. Yeah. Something about, like you said, nature that makes us feel natural. Like it's right. tight. Oh, back there? Yeah. The background? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The sun kiss. So it's like, it's six. It's not like, it's 636. Sun came up, but the mountains aren't letting it shine yet. Hey, so that's what the background up. is. Me. <laughs> Kobe woke me up. I was like, hmm. <laughs> 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 I did not want to get up. I ain't gonna lie. You think it's worth it now, though? Yeah, it's worth it. What's, what's like ten, like fifteen minutes after you wake up, you you up? Facts. Yeah. No matter what time it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, throughout the day, you're probably gonna be dog tired, but yeah, for the time being, it's worth it. You know, right up there is where we're going, though. Suicide point. See if we'll survive. Yeah. If this video don't get out, then. <laughs> <laughs> Just dead. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> That's what happened. Dead. As we climbed higher into the heart of the mountain with no cell phone service, we thought we were supposed to feel disconnected. Little did we know, the life around us made us feel almost home in a sense. It just made sense. <sighs> About so I'm feeling sixty percent there. Sixty percent. So we're using the All Trails app, right? That's what you using. Yeah, All tra All Trails. It's, it's allowing us to stay on trail at least, because there's a lot of ways you can go, obviously. But even with little to no service, it's pretty good. Yeah, shameless plug on the all trails. Sponsor it, no, but uh, sponsor us. Yeah, literally, <laughs> we're gonna hike all the time if you want us to. Uh, so what's we talked about careers and what we're doing and where we're at right now, but what's a what's a short term goal for yourself, like for your for your life, I guess. Are right, you gonna answer? I'm about to finish this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess for me, it would be making this production company I started and stuff like more, more, you know, have more publicity about it, like have eyes on it more, make more contacts through it and, you know, not just getting more jobs because, you know, those are going to be there, but making, making progress in the business, like getting bigger and bigger, like building my empire. And football, I mean... You know, if I get the call, I get the call, but this time around, I'm not relying on waiting on it, you know? Mm. I'm going to work out, work on it, but if it doesn't happen, I'm already going to be doing something, so I don't fall on my face. So, short term, that's exactly what I'm doing, right. and I'm doing right now, so. <laughs> yeah. Creating content constantly, yeah, that's pretty good. Content, yeah. Honestly, for me, I would say uh, in the Bay, I mean, there's a lot of, of photography opportunities, there's a lot of, like, old shit. Mm -hmm. um, historic things and you know oh yeah yeah and a lot of modern stuff too especially like it's very artsy over there so getting into photography up there would probably be a good 
go for me. I already made like a business card, but I just got to order that. <laughs> I hate how everything costs money, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> just let me get the money. And I got it. He said, I hate how everything costs <laughs> But yeah. I wish you could just like get all you needed for a second, like without having to owe nobody. And if you make money, you make money. If you don't, then you gotta pay it back. Yeah, so. exactly. Like, let me try it first. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's for me. Um, what about like, let's do an unrealistic future for yourself, kind of like a big dream, I should say, and then like a, an obtainable, attainable, <laughs> obtainable dream. Jeez, <laughs> it's scary to say that a big dream is just having to, you know have your own home mm -hmm. because of you know inflation going on right now oh, yeah. and I don't think housing is ever going to go down to where people think like oh yeah this is affordable um, yeah it's just going to be like basically throughout history you know they're just going to build and build and build outside of the city more and more it's going to be cheaper for right now and then later on years later yep. 10 to 20 years later it's gonna just going to price is going to hike up again you know the value of the houses are going to get higher but right now it fucking sucks I'm about to live off you the know, grid we can pay essentially the same that people have been getting paid in early 2000s but the prices are fucking different it's, yeah it's, it's like crazy where's, where's the equilibrium but you know uh big goal it's only because i don't really want this for myself but big goal would be uh on some entrepreneurship Mm -hmm. um, I probably don't know exactly what it would be, but it would have to be creative because I, I get bored too easily. I don't like doing things. <laughs> if it was all up to me, I would just be laying down, watching TV and rubbing my stomach. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing my stomach. This is just fat as hell. You know? <laughs> just not caring. But, you know, got to do shit. Got to make money. Got to live and shit. You know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Me. I mean that's important though doing making, making money, money but how you make it is what makes it worthwhile exactly like, like we both got stuff with like video and production and pictures and stuff that we love doing and if we could just if, li if we literally oh my god I can't talk <laughs> if we if we literally could just like do stuff like this and make money doing it it wouldn't it wouldn't even be about the money it'd just be about being secure and like being able to do this like, yeah exactly that is just fun being able to do that you know Cause we're adventurous. I mean, we could be more adventurous if you know the funds was right and shit. But um, and we still gotta go out the country. Yeah, I feel like it's you know unpopular to contrary belief. You know, just by I guess just black men doing shit like this, it, it seems like some white boy shit. But mm. like, nah, nigga, <laughs> niggas love nature too. Facts. Quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just, I don't know, it's just something, the only thing that's probably wrong with this trip is the bugs, honestly, but it's just something you gotta just ignore, I guess, but, uh, mosquito just landed on my arm and just went to work like I wasn't, well, wait, <laughs> like, at least wait till I go to sleep, you know, <laughs> be courteous. They got no shame, he was like, nigga, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Can't believe we're doing this. Yeah, we're almost there. We were talking about this for like, almost a month. And we finally just did it. Like, we set the date and just did it. I'm proud of us for doing that because <laughs> we man. always... It's hard planning. Sh yeah. I mean, it's only two of us out of the four. Yeah. But, you Shout know. out to Justin and Dan. But Daniel, I'm still pissed off, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to come. Last minute. Tell us his real work schedule. <laughs> Sorry, right, though. Uh. What's, the, what's the most important thing about you? you think that you bring to the table like to the entrepreneur world and to the like corporate world what's the what's the most important thing about yourself honestly corporate is f easy like especially being black uh and mexican you know um they're so scared sometimes you can just you can just tell mm -hmm. they're so scared of being wrong they're constantly in a state of you know apologizing because you know if you do do the wrong we gonna call you out you know <laughs> but it's like it's just been years and years of uh conditioning for them and us as well you know mm -hmm. we had to unlearn a lot of shit Facts. um by ourselves um and uh yeah that, especially because you know i'm in marketing and stuff like that so yeah social media and uh you gotta you gotta know your audience and not only that you gotta know the people 
other people that are looking at you yeah. as well. So branding wise, it's f easy. Yeah, I feel like only thing with this entrepreneur and like what I'm doing in this video stuff and all that production is like it's not a lot of people like me doing it. So it's one is it makes me original, but it also makes it hard for me to sell myself like mm. that. I know what I'm doing, you know, because mm. it's the track record for my you know past history of people that done it is just like service level. Like you got a bunch of good actors, but how many producers do we have? How many directors do we got? You know, once. Once one director that's black makes a great movie, it's just like, oh, that's it. You know, that's you know? it. Just like the president. One president is like, oh, when we going to get the next one, though? <laughs> one comedian. Right. There's, there's always one. Eddie Murphy and then Kev Hart. There's, there's, nobody else gets in the door. They're just going to do Kevin Hart movies, yeah. Kevin Hart movies. And it sucks that it's only like, it seems like just that you get chosen mm -hmm. and that's it, but you know. You get to get on the train. <laughs> everybody else. I want to bring everybody with me, you know. Right. Because there's a lot of. I mean, it's hard for us to break through, to get seen, uh, doing what we're doing. But it always seems like, once, our our people get that get to that level, they look down at a, on us and they're just like, nah, it's yeah. just me, you know. <laughs> like uh, we get it. Lot. You worked hard and we doing the same. It, but like mm -hmm. you know niggas can help you out as well or you can put other people on yeah because that's what's done in other uh cultures and other races and stuff like mm -hmm. that people get put on and they get more money because you know especially when you get older doing something you see it like uh, for example music mm -hmm. when an older rapper gets older and if he's smart enough he's gonna look to the younger people that's trendy right now and mm -hmm. try to blend their music with that and make more money. E forty is E forty Snoop Dogg. It's people I see that do it the most. Yeah. Like when, when Roddy Rich first came out, E forty hit a song when I can't remember the name of it, but I'm like, that's that's big. Is Roddy Rich not even from you know NorCal? So yeah. it's like he just saw talent and willing to work with it and profit off of it at the same time, but helping him. And that's how it should be. Exactly. And it's uh, an empire. And it sucks because when I was in college and stuff, always heavily involved with you know Black Student Union and. I was lead coordinator of the brother, Brotherhood Alliance, mm -hmm. and uh, I brought in a lot of faculty to talk to the students as well, including me, even though I was just facilitating everything, mm -hmm. uh, to create a bridge between college and, you know, having to get a career, having to choose a career, go mm -hmm. get a job and stuff like that. And um, once I graduated, it seemed like those faculty, black faculty, just turned their heads and was just like, you know, figure it out, basically. Yo, yo. <laughs> like, during the time when you're a student, of course, yeah, we're going to help you out. Right. Uh, I'm going to give you my email, and after you graduate, hit me up. Mm -hmm. I was hitting up everybody, right. double time. It made me feel bad about, like, hitting them up three times. Like, nah, man, you said you was going to help me out. Like, keep be a man of your uh, word yeah. at that point, man. Let your yeses be yes. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of rough having to navigate that shit because it seems like sometimes you don't got no help and yeah. you know being the first I think it's is it first for you and your family graduating no you, know, you got brothers huh? yeah I got older brothers and sisters you know cousins and stuff it's, I've I've had you know good people to look up to to do that so I but I mean where I did it at is not something that nobody can else yeah I mean, it's it's say. Far, yeah. yeah Massachusetts is a, a hop skipping a skateboard <laughs> 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 yeah, that's bit me. Mm -hmm. You got bit. <laughs> yeah, but uh, being the first for me, it's hard. I mean, obviously, your parents can give you the most, the best advice they can, but you know, for the most part, you're on your own. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, how can you tell somebody how to go through the dark? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's stuff. I respect that though. That's something that that you started to. You can keep pushing your future whenever you have, if you have kids. <laughs> Or just even even people you can mentor too. Just that's your legacy. I ain't having kids. <laughs> just fuck know that. <laughs> just know that. <laughs> so hey, twenty years later, my kid watching this, just mad as hell. <laughs> so I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> no. Just know it was a mistake. Just, <laughs> oh just, my God. just know that I really didn't want you. <laughs> <laughs> You're <a> coming. <laughs> oh man. That's 
Two lifelong friends on two totally different career paths continue their way up the mountain. The journey itself started to become more crucial than the destination. I used to be terrified of heights. A while back, there was zero chance of me standing on this 1800 foot boulder. But this is the beautiful point of view a bird sees. How could I ever take this for granted? Oh, uh, I would have fall back. It'd be the worst, huh? <laughs> ah, you f made it to the guy on top. <laughs> Suicide rock. It's actually pretty beautiful, man. It is contrary to the name of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like the best spot on the mountain, literally. You can see everything, aerial view of everything. But on that topic, don't put up the suicide hotline, phone number, as well as other mental health awareness um, avenues for everyone to search through. But um, while we're on that topic, let's, uh, let me ask you how you think how do you think we can improve mental health in men in general? As men for not not excluding ladies, but you know the numbers are high for men right now. True. Um, that's actually a good question. I say for me, or speaking for people of color, uh, more specifically black people, uh, you just gotta. I mean, know yourself is the the main thing. I feel like uh, we do a lot of. Well, since social media is out now, we're, we're all involved in that heavily. We see a lot of stuff that we want to be like, mm. but we don't actually want to do it. Mm. So we kind of like put that in our head, like, oh, I want to be like that. I want to be like that. Yeah. So we put ourselves down. We also see expectations from, you know, the other sex. And, you know, it's fine. Everybody can have their preferences and shit like that. But that gets down. That gets people. That gets, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be making people sad and shit, you know, yeah. if they don't got money or they don't got the looks or something like yeah. that uh people yeah but i say the main thing is just knowing yourself but i mean it's kind of hard because it's not just that we also have to deal with you know the boys's double consciousness to where mm -hmm. we we not only have to go outside with our own perspective we have to see us how other people view us just in case so basically to protect ourselves yeah kind of checking so, yourself um because no. we know people think that we're you know all the racial stereotypes like that and it's yeah. not it got, it cooled down obviously in this generation and shit like that but there's also people that are older than us who feel the same way and yeah. um people that are younger that were taught in a wrong way so we gotta take that into account everywhere we go and it's kind of stressful because we just want to live our life yeah. we just want to do what we want to do I like, you know, social media, especially like Instagram, we see somebody's perfect day, perfect filter, perfect hair, everything is perfect. And we see it. And we, and like you said, we try to mirror our life like that. Like you see, it, you know, somebody going on a vacation to have a suit and a big yacht, whatever. Like we see like, dang, I don't even have money to do that. And now I'm depressed going back to clock in. You know, I looked at that on my break. So I don't know. It's just a lot that we have, like you said, to mirror look in the mirror and perfect ourselves. I think that's the best thing, like perfect who you are before you take it to the world. Yeah, so. you just gotta basically uh, close yourself. I mean, shelter yourself from the outside world and protect yourself more than you protect others. Yeah. I see a lot of people taking care of other people more than they take care of themselves and then they look drained. Mm -hmm. sad. It's pretty sad to see. Yeah, you're giving all you got and you ain't got nothing to give you. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like that one meme of I'm trying to fill the uh, the laundry basket up with water. Yeah. Holes in it. Like it's never gonna happen. Never, <laughs> you're never gonna. You're not gonna do that. But yeah, that's yeah, the main thing. I think like what we what we eat, drink, you know, how we exercise. That we gotta get back to the basics as a society. Like what makes us happy is what we put in our bodies. Like not just food, but like mentally reading good books, 
watching good shows, you know, not just watching anything, you know, watching Desperate Housewives, all of that Kardashian stuff, you know, it's it's all good and fun and entertainment, but at the end of the day, you're soaking all that in. Like, you're not forgetting about that. You're obviously thinking about that from a peripheral point of view, like, back of your head. You're not Kim Kardashian, so. People, oof, man, I be seeing y'all on Instagram. Y'all be trying to emulate that shit. <laughs> First of all, calm the f*** down. <laughs> <laughs> I know we on this mental health shit, but my niggas, <laughs> you know? He said, come on, man. <laughs> you not yeah, them. And it's okay. Man. You can be yourself and still be popping. Like, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. It's because some people said that you ain't like other people, you know? Like, that's a, that's a compliment to me, nigga. Right. Shit. Facts. Shit yeah. flying away. Yeah, the wind <laughs> is winding up here. Let you know. We try to get the best view, but... You know, the sun is right here, so if we put the camera that way, it would have been horrible, so bear with us. <laughs> we haven't seen any, speaking of bears, we haven't seen any, like, crazy wildlife, thankfully. But, yeah, uh, I ain't trying to see no snakes or nothing. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, if you're, if you're thinking about doing this hike, I guess, just be prepared with water and snacks, because... Be prepared for it. the constant incline. Oh, man. That... Hell no. <laughs> I'll do it again, but god damn. Yeah. We'll take more breaks next time. <laughs> Could you imagine coming up here at sunset, though? If we did this like at 6 p.m. and then come down at night. Oh, man. <laughs> probably would have, but I just bundle If we up. get paid for this, we'll probably do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, That'd yeah. be fun. Oh, yeah. Prices went up. Get all the <laughs> f- tools for that shit. I twisted my ankle again, so (laughs) (laughs) y'all. Anything semi athletic I do, (laughs) fucking ankle twist. (laughs) That's the same one. I mean, you did both of them, huh? Did both, but this is the old one. Dumbass ankles, man. That's comedy. But, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the. Hope y'all enjoyed the, uh, you know. Unique podcast slash hike slash look at us slash b roll slash blah 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 hashling slash layer <laughs> hashling slash <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>